Oh no! A bookcase in a tree! Not again! That always drives me to probationary antics! cheesy back screen. That is well worth several viewings. Gotta rewind that. <laughs> okay. Should be about good. <laughs> oh, good background. <laughs> Of course, you gotta have the real one right there, but... <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, priceless. Oh, cheap and silly. Just the way I like my films. <laughs> oh, no. I phone up the hook signal. Not again. I must have accidentally knocked it off. Oh, that signal always drives me to probationary antics. Oh. License and registration, please. You know, you are going at a pretty abnormal speed. My radar said you were going 33 miles per hour. The required speed limit of this road is 37. No more, and certainly no less. You mean I have to go 37 miles per hour exactly? You're bereft of reason. was probation Mike. He's just like those North Carolina cops. They just don't understand that I go any speed I want. Yes, yeah, 74 times on probation. Nobody beats that record, and no one ever will. Registration, please. Well, probation, Brad, those bright lights of yours, not to mention your speeding and ugly windshield wipers, will bring you up to your 74th probation. That ties you with probation Mike. One more, and you'll be arrested and off to jail. But don't worry, probation Mike will be there first to keep you company. The hell he will!
good are these pretzels anyway? We can't even light them, let alone smoke them. They're totally useless. You're supposed to eat them. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Probation, Mike? Let's get right to the heart of the matter. You've got 74 probations, I've got 74 probations. One more for each of us, and we're under arrest by cloister law. So what of it? So I plan on being arrested first, but I don't want to go in on another automobile violation. Every one of our probations have had to do with breaking the law with our car, but not for the final time. Take a look at the sign over here. No juggling in the cloister commons at night under penalty of death or just imprisonment for a little while if we feel nice about it. Probation, Mike, the breaking of this law will decide our fate. We will continue to juggle until we are arrested. The first one the police officer reprimands wins the respect and honor of being the master probationist of our era. The other one, if he must go to his death or to jail, will go to either place in shame. And I don't think either one of us would care for that. You summed it up nicely, Probation Brad. There's no second place as far as I'm concerned. Let's juggle. Probation, Mike. I recognize you. I've been waiting to catch up with you again. Your 75th probation. Juggling in the commons yet. Come on. I've got a one-way ticket to the cooler for you. You mean just imprisonment? No death penalty? Mm. Oh, I, I guess I just feel too nice about it. What about me, officer? You can juggle all night for all I care. I've got probation, Mike. Sorry, old chum. But to be probationary king is my destiny. Well, I guess it's the straight and narrow life for me from now on. That life in the monastery looks awfully good. Goodbye, probation Brad. Hello, monk Brad. He's having a wonderful time in the monastery. That's great. You know, Brad was lucky. He was able to go the right way, right away. Being probationary king wasn't what it was cracked up to be. There's just no future in probation. But that's all right, because now I have the chance to answer to my true calling in life. Dehumidifying the great outdoors. Oh, it's not even humid. Well, that doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big 50. Or was that 22? Hmm, could be, Mike, could be. Hey, 